Hello everyone. Welcome to my Python series. Myself Samida Chandwekar, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology. See, in the previous uh, video, we will see we see uh, that what exactly the list, then list to length. Now we see some list operations. So what exactly it is? See, when you are talking about the list, there is a slicing. What is mean by the slicing? Slicing is nothing but the what? Extract the substrings. It means suppose there are the, uh, for example, in FYA division, there is a roll number from A to 70, 1 to 70. But I want a student from 20 to 40. So how we can it, we, how we can make it a separate? So that time we can use that slicing method. So, slicing is a technique in Python that allow you to extract the substring from long strings. For that, there is a syntax that is LST. LST means what? Which list you are using. We have to give the initial value. Then we have to give the colon. Then end. It means suppose you are giving end and then index jump. Index jump is optional if you want to give. It means suppose you want only the even numbers. If, if you want only the odd numbers. So that time you can give the what? Index jump. So there is a example. See this is the one list. In that list there is a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? The first slicing is what? In suppose print least 0, 6. Right? 0, colon, 6. It means the your index is started from 0. So that means that 1 is at index 0, 2 is at index 1. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 means what? See, no, but you, here you are getting a what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the output. Why it is not including the 7? Because 7 is at 6 index. When you are giving the slicing, the 0 is the initial, right? But 6 is the end. And obviously, in Python, it take the up to 5 index. That last in final or last end value, it is not considered. So, it is giving the what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But if you want to print the whole list, there is a just print list colon. That means there is no initial value and no end value. So, it is what? 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Whole list you are getting. Now the next. See. Print list 2, 5. See 2, 5. 2. Where it is 2? 1 at index 0. 2 at index 1. 3 at index 2. Right. So it means the 3 is starting. Right. 2 and 5. Right. So 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 matlab 6. It means a what? 6. But I already told you ki it will take the what? A last point be before that. That means if it, you are mentioning the 5, it take the index up to 4. So you will get the what? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That means 3, 4, 5 is the output. Right? See Least 2 colon 5. That means it is a 3, 4, 5. Now the next one is the what? Print list 1, 6, 2. 1 is the what? Initial. 6, 6 means it is considered up to index 5. And now we are using the index jump. That means it jump for the 2. Right? So here the output is 2, 4, 6. How it is 2, 4, 6? See, it is starting from 1. 1 means what? At index is 1. The 2 value is there. Then it 2, 2. Uh, that there is a 6, right? So, 6 means it up to 5. That means up to 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But in that, we given the what? Jump, jump by 2. That means 2, after that it will be taking 4. Then after that it will be taking as a 6. So, the answer is 2, 4, 6. So, this is what slicing concept. Now, in a Python, there is a least have index starting forward direction from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Similarly, it is started from backward direction minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. 
it means suppose I want to access 5, I can access with the plus 5 and I can access with minus 1 index. If I mention the minus 1 index, it will be immediately give me the value which is on index 5. So, that means this is the what? Negative indexing. Sometime you want to call from the backward direction. So, that time you have to use minus uh, negative index. That means it start, last one started from minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. So, this is what? Negative indexing. Now, updating the list value. If you want to update the values in the list, see. It's a least, uh, I already told you that list is a mutable. It means you can update, you can edit the data, you can edit the atom. So, if you want to edit, see, there is a list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I want a list 2, 10. 2 matlab index, that means it's a 0, 1, 2. It means the value is 3. So, the 3 is immediately uh, added or updated with value 10. So, the output is what? 1, 2, 10, 4, 5, 6. Now, adding multiple. See, we can add not a single element. We can add a multiple element also. Just we have to mention where you want to add. So, least 1, 3. That is means 1. So, 1 is a starting. That means index 1. That means the 2 value. And uh, 3, but 3 is an end and obviously previously I have we already discussed 3 it is not considered as an index, it is considered 2 as an index. So, only 2 values get changed that is 2 and 10 will be replaced with 18 and 89 and 78. So, our now list becomes 1, 89, 78, 4, 5, 6. Understood students? Don't get uh, confused. See, it's a starting with 1, then it's end with uh, 3. But it's 3 is not considered. It just index 2 will be get. So, 1 and 2. So, the value is 2 at 1 index and value is 10 at 2 index. So, 89 and 78 will be get replaced uh, uh, with 2 and 10. So, our new list becomes 1, 89, 78, 4, 5, 6. Then we will add the list at the end. Obviously, see, uh, previously just I uh, uh, discussed with you that is in negative indexing. I want to uh, add values at last position. So, that time I give the list minus 125. Automatically, it will be added at last position that is minus 1. So, we again our list becomes 1, 89, 78, 4, 5, 25. Thank you students.